Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the look that I am wearing right now. It's my first holiday themed look that I have done and I wanted to get it done in time for Thanksgiving. So this is what I will be wearing tomorrow for Thanksgiving. It's just a nice cranberry smoky eye, more of like the halo kind of smoky eye. And I paired it with just like a deep nude lip. I mean that's it, there's not much else to say so let's just get right into it. Okay, so I've started by priming my face, and then I'm going in with my Revlon Colorstay Foundation and Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Illuminator, and I'm using my Real Technique sponge to blend this all over my face. I'm now taking my Sephora concealer and applying this under my eyes and anywhere that I want to highlight as well as conceal my blemishes. Now taking my CoverGirl press powder and just setting all of that in place. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper Gel stuff, it's just clear, and I'm combing through my brows to set them in place, and then I'm filling them in with the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Soft Brown. Now taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and my MAC 109 brush, I'm just contouring my cheekbones, my forehead, my temples, my jawline, and my nose. I'm now taking the two lightest shades in the Shade and Light palette and I'm just using this to blend out that nose contour so it's not so hard. Now with my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter, I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow, and anywhere that I want to have my features stand out. For blush, I'm using my CoverGirl Cheekers in Plumberry Glow, and I'm applying this with an angled brush, and then I'm going on top of it with the CoverGirl Classic Color in Soft Mink, just to add a little more shimmer to it. Now I'm going into my Urban Decay Setting Spray, just to make sure that the powders don't look so cakey. And then I'm going in with some eye primer to make sure that I have a base for the shadows. And I'm using the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. And I'm starting off with the color Molder, and I'm using this to set that primer. And then going in with the color St Strutter and using this as a transition shade. I'm also applying this to the inner and outer corner of my eye and then going in with a peach tone shade just to add a little more warmth to the crease and then going in with the color analog to add again some more warmth and we're just building up colors to gradually fade into the cranberry color that is our ultimate result and then going in with destroyer and applying this on top of that orange in the crease Again, applying it in the inner and outer corners and through the crease because we're trying to create that halo effect.
I am now going in with the color Rewind, and I'm applying this in the same areas that I applied all of the other colors. We're just trying to build up more depth and dimension, and our goal ultimately was a cranberry smoky eye, so this is the cranberry color that is adding that depth. I continuously go back and forth between Destroyer, Analog, and Rewind just to make sure that I'm not losing any intensity of any color and just to make sure that everything is blended out seamlessly. I'm now using the Kiko Mixing Solution and mixing that with the MAC Rose Pigment and I'm applying this to the center of the lid that we had left blank. And this is going to add just a pop of shimmer, and it's kind of multi-dimensional, so it's just going to be adding a really cool effect to the halo eye. And then I'm going in with a little bit of black just to add a little more depth, because it just wasn't dark enough for me, but I'm just adding the slightest amount. I'm now using the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and applying this to my lower lashes. And I'm applying the Kiss Looks So Natural Lashes in Shy, and then tight lining my eyes with the Kiko Black Eyeliner, and then using the NYX 24 Karat Eyeliner in my waterline. For my lower lash line, I'm taking Rewind, and I'm applying that with a pencil brush, and then blending it out with Analog. I'm now taking Max Whisper Pink Pigment and I'm just applying this in my inner corners. For lips, I'm lining them with NYX's Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner and then I'm going over on top of that with Max Twig Lipstick. This is the finished look. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more holiday tutorials, let me know what colors or what looks you want to see down below. And I will get those out for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.